So I congratulate you. And as the general of the CDF of Uganda told you, it's not part of the problem of the African armies. They look at army as a job, as 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 a job, as cars, chibarua, kwajiriwa. Army, according to us, is not a job. It is a cause to defend, like you defend, is it defending your home, a job? Suppose I have my children, my wife, a thief comes, I must defend my home. Now, is that a job? When I defend my family from a thief, a thief is trying to invade my house, I defend them. It's not a job. It is an obligation. Kwa kiswahili tunasema ni wajibu. Kwa kiswahili changu cha zamani. Wajibu. Responsibility. It is my responsibility to defend my house. My house is being invaded by thieves. So I defend it. I defend my, my wife. I defend my children. I defend my cows. Me, I'm a cow man. You come and touch my cows. Uh -uh. Now, from the home, go to the country now. When you are defending your country, it's not a job. This is part of the problem. Because we started off as a student movement in the 1960s. We were a student movement. Then when Idi Amin came into government, we became a resistance movement. From student movement to resistance movement. Now, during that time, Mwarimu Nyerere was supporting us. And he could support us because we were very clear. We would not say, Mwarimu, pay us a salary. Mwarimu Nyerere, you young people, you may, some of you may not know, Mwarimu Nyerere was the president of Tanzania at that time. Because these days you spend a lot of time watching football clubs of Europe. You may not even know who Mwarimu Nyerere was. This is Marianne, may not know Modibo Keita. They may not know. Because Modibo Keita was a contemporary of Mwarimu Nyerere. They were together. Mwarimu Nyerere, Modibo Keita, Sekoture, Patrice Lumumba, Nelson Mandela, they are the same, same. Same, same people. So if you don't know, if you have forgotten Modibo Keita, maybe even Marimu Nyerere, you don't know him. So you, because you know football clubs of Europe. Somebody asked me, can you imagine somebody come and said, hey, Mr. Seven, what football club do you support? A football club? I myself, I was a footballer. However, from 1966, when our country started getting into problems, I gave up football. I forgot. I don't play. If, if me a footballer, I don't play. How can I go to watch other people play? I am always thinking about Africa, 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 not football club. So, if you are watching foot, football club, football clubs of Europe, how will you know what is happening in Africa here? How will you know? So, Malim Nyerere was supporting us. But we were easy to support because we were not asking to pay us a salary. How, how, how could, how could Malim manage to pay salary for the army of Tanzania and also pay us a salary to fight. 
This is the problem of Somalia. Somalia, the, the government broke down. This, the government doesn't control much of the country. We want to support them, like Mwarimu Nyerere supported us. Because Mwarimu Nyerere supported us by simply training. If you train me, that's enough. You give me food when I'm training, that's enough. You give me a rifle, ah, some, some ammunition, the rest I will get myself. But now in Somalia, they say you must pay the army. Who is to pay the army? The country has no money. Who is to pay the army now? Oh, UAE will pay one month. Qatar will pay another month. Now, Somalia is a big country. It's about the size of Tanzania, slightly smaller than Tanzania. It needs a big army. But you find, ah, 15,000, 15,000, what, what can 15,000 soldiers do in a country as big as, as Somalia? The people are there in millions. They can be mobilized to defend their country. But the, the problem is the concept. Because they have tied defending the country to pay. I must be paid to defend my country. Yes, I, 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 will, I should be paid if the money is there. But if, if the money is not there, I will defend my country, whether there is money or no money. And in that case, then the support I need from friends is just a rifle, ammunition, that's all. Some food, if it is there, then it is easy to, 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 to that's how we were able to, from 1971, when we started fighting Yamin, I was in, in, in those armies. We were never paid from 1971 up to 1987, 17 years. We were fighting for no pay. 